Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> What's up, everybody? DJ Numismatics back again for a quarter box hunt and dollar hunt. I called one of my uh, bank branches and asked them if they had any half dollars, and they misunderstood me and said, oh, yeah, we got tons in stock. Well, turns out they were dollar coins. So usually my quarter boxes run slightly light, and these always run light. So we'll pair these two together and see if we can find anything cool dollar coins I'll be looking for wide rim 79's so, uh, Susan B's and then of course the 2000 mule coin and 2000 P uh, wounded eagle and Cheerios dollar and I think there's one other one I usually look for the 2009 Sacagawea missing date so and basically what it was they forgot to put some edge laid lettering on the 2009s if I remember correctly I don't pay much attention to the rest of it so other than if I do find some proofs in here I'll bring you in when I find the proof if not I'll bring you in when I'm gone through all these rolls and checked everything for errors so that being said let's go ahead and crack into roll one well as I expected I didn't find nothing whatsoever in the dollar coins. I did come across 31 2000 P's to check for varieties. 26 of the 1979's none of them with the wide rim. Came across a stack of 1980's an 81 and a 99. Nothing exciting. I don't collect dollar coins so these will be headed back to circulation. So, let's see if 50 rolls of quarters is going to pan out. I'll crack into this roll, and like always, I go through 10 rolls, and then I'll search under the microscope for varieties. If I find a variety after 10 rolls, I'll bring in. If not, we'll just keep moving on. Alright, I'll bring in on the West Points, silver, in any major variety that I can find that I don't have to sculpt. Alright, let's get cracking. Well, we went through the first 20 rolls and I got a stack of bicentennials. None of them. The DDO. The only thing I came across is this 2004, or 6, sorry, North Dakota. And they're known for a die break right down here. Let me throw this on the, under the scope and I'll show you what I got. If you look right there, you could see the start of the die break. And I shouldn't have said die break earlier. It, it turns into a cud. And it goes, the cud stretches from obviously where the die break is up to right here where you can see where the die break stops. And it cuts across here, right across, right in this area. You can almost see it starting to cut across there. Right there, kind of right there. You can see it. I found one other one like this, but it had the die break that went all the way across to this side too without the cut. And I tell you what, these sell for pretty good prices, so don't don't uh, discourage these uh, small die breaks and coins. They can actually command a pretty good profit, so pretty cool find. Alright, let me move on to the next. We're on roll 23 and... It is definitely seen some circulation, but we got a W. No mint marks, or no privy marks, so let's flip it over and see what we got. American Memorial Park. Well, 2019 West Point in the box. It has seen some circulation, but a light wipe with the finger and one side looks good. And the other one looks a little better now too. Well, we got a West Point and a variety coin. Now all we need is silver and a proof to fill the board. We're on roll 48 and I just came across something pretty cool. 
I don't think I'll even have to put it under the scope for you. It's definitely got some goo on it. But if you look across this coin, at first I thought it was just a scratch, but it has got a raised edge. This is a 2007 Wyoming from Denver. And it has a giant die break that starts up here and almost goes across the whole coin. I'll throw it under the scope just in case we can see it better. But that is one, as you can see from the side here, it's raised. Impressive die break. As you can see, it starts at the rim, goes through the O, through the 8, and all the way down to the initials. I'm pretty sure this is a die break and not a piece of something that fell onto the die. That's probably one of the longest die breaks I've found on a quarter. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can get it on a wider view here. There you go. That is a pretty impressive die break. Alright, I got two rolls left. I'll bring in, because I've got a stack over here to put underneath the scope. If I find anything, I'll let you know. If not, we'll do a wrap up. Well, that box has been hunted. In my last stack, I came up with this here 1985 Philadelphia. If you look at the rim there, right around this edge here, and then if you flip it over, this edge also, I think, as you can see, is really thick right here and just slightly thinner over here I do believe this is what they call a rotated die or not rotated die sorry a, a tilted collar kind of an interesting coin I'll probably keep it for now and decide what I want to do with it later and then I came up with a 2018 Rhode Island and it is a DDR001. I'll throw it in the scope and show you what it is. And as you can see, right here, you can see this little notch here is, whoop, sorry about that. That right there is an extra imprint of, I do believe, that feather right there. So, I found, I think this is my third one of these I've found. I think there's three of them. There's a DDR 001, 002, and 003. 002, I do believe, is right here. And 003 is right over in here. All right, let me go ahead and grab the rest of my finds and we'll do a wrap up. All in all, not too bad of a box. I came up with three bicentennials that were in really nice shape. They were all Ds and none of them the DDOs, of course. We got that crazy die break 2007 uh, Wyoming the DDR I just showed you and then we got that die break beginning of the cud for the North Dakota that tilted collar I do believe is what that is the 85p and then of course the 2019 West Point American Mor Memorial Park so this will be a short video, but that's okay. They don't have to be super long, right? So as always, I'll post a link up here for my eBay page. Uh, some of these finds will probably make it on there, that North Dakota. And uh, Wyoming most likely will make it there. And uh, hope you enjoyed this hunt. And today we finally got some warm weather, so hopefully you're staying warm, staying safe. And as, as always, everybody, happy hunting. See you next time. Here we go.